Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. I am so excited about today. You guys have been requesting this kind of video for like a year now, probably more than that at this point, and I finally got permission. I got up the courage and I talked to our uh, management staff about it here and everybody's on board. So finally, I can bring you guys along with me at a typical day at work. Before I take you guys inside, I want to say a big thank you to my supervisors as well as my boss, Dr. Garza. He's the owner of our clinic here. Thank you all so much for allowing me to do this and trusting me with this. And without further ado, let's see what today has in store for us. I work at East El Paso Animal Hospital. We're one of the largest clinics in town, and we're also a walk-in clinic, so it's kind of like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. That being said, I wasn't able to film a whole lot throughout the day because we did have our hands pretty full, but I was able to catch a few glimpses here and there. The priority of every day is to get our surgical procedures done, but before we can do anything, we have to set up the clinic and get everything prepared for the day. And an example of our morning routine is setting up the blood machines in our lab area. Good morning. Hello. First thing to do of the day, we're gonna start the blood machine. This is my lovely coworker, Selena. Say hi. Nice to meet you all. Happy Vet Tech Week, Selena. Vet Tech Week! <laughs> and then we filled this with reference fluid. This is our chemistry machine. I already ran the background, which is basically checking everything that is set up in the computer correctly. And now I'm going to do the quality control, which is a generic blood sample that makes sure that all the parameters are in order. So you just introduce the blood to the key, aspirate key. It'll take a sample. And then it'll read. Another morning task is to get our surgical suite set up. My coworker Sarah and I are doing things like getting the warming units ready and checking the anesthetic machines to make sure they're filled with enough isofluorine. Hey, hi! Can you see his tie? Oh my gosh, and his little shoe. Jackson's here for an ear cleaning. Fashionable. Let's get it going. Sarah and I did an ear cleaning on stylish little Jackson. Here's what his ear looked like before. And here's what it looked like after. And I promise it wasn't really that red in person. It was just really bad lighting. This little cutie is Macy, and she came in for some blood work to check her kidney values. My coworker Italia did a quick blood draw from Macy's jugular vein. We then put the blood in a heparinized tube and put it in the centrifuge to spin down for a few minutes. Once it's done, we put it in our chemistry machine with the appropriate slides, and then it's time to get the test running. Next up, we have Bo, who's here for his first ever vet visit. After getting Bo's seal of approval, Dr. Marcus can begin his exam. During his assessment, Dr. Marcus will check Bo's mouth, both of his ears, feel his lymph nodes, and basically feel all over for any lumps and bumps or any other abnormalities. And of course, he'll take a good listen to his heart and lungs. He looks very healthy. It's 
great. Yeah, it's good to know. His teeth are appropriate. I mean, you see the little baby teeth coming in there. You got the, the canines there. Incisors are adult incisors. But those baby canines are going to fall out. Premolars are coming in, all that. Once the overall assessment was done, it was time for vaccines. In order to distract Bo and to make it a positive experience, Dr. Marcus squished some yummy treats onto the exam table to give Bo something else to focus on instead of the injections. And it worked like a charm. Bo didn't even flinch one bit. This is Dudley, who managed to get his paws on some chocolates, which just goes to show you that accidents happen even to the best of us, and I say that because Dudley actually belongs to one of our doctors here. We had to induce vomiting, so to do that, we crushed up an apomorphine tablet and put it under his bottom eyelid. Then all we had to do was set up some puppy pads and wait for it to kick in, which didn't take very long at all. Does it? Like that. Oh. There we go. Dudley. What is that yellow thing? Is it the wrapper? Yeah. Oh my god, you ate it whole? Right? There it is. There it is. Oh, there, it is. there it is. Oh, there it is. What happened there, Brittany? Anal glands. All over you. All over me. You get the you get the Dirty Daisy Award today. Stinky. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be fun. <laughs> then it was time for a potty break. This is Paco and Winnie, the two-pound Chihuahua, who you can also see in videos on the clinic's Facebook page. They both belong to my boss, Dr. Garza, so they basically run the place. If you enjoyed getting an inside look at our clinic, please give this video a like and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next one. The clinic's social media info will be in the description box down below, so definitely check us out there as well. As always, thank y'all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!